little curious how the ceiling's done. This is an invisible coating on my ceiling. A while back, we developed this um, this invisible screen paint. So I didn't want to change the color of the ceiling. I wanted to keep it white. So we developed an invisible coating that allowed me to put an invisible screen on my ceiling and I can use projectors to project images to give it a realistic effect. And that's how I get my ceiling to look like water. We have it on the website. It's Supreme 8 Amulite Projection Invisible. It comes in three colors. It comes in a crystal clear, which I have on the ceiling. And it also too comes in the black or the 3D silver. There's my screen. That is a 126 inch screen on the Optima GT5500, which was specific. I specified that it could only do 100 inch. I told you, it's a lie. You could do 100, and the biggest you can get out of an Optima GT55 is probably about 150. But here's the kicker. For those of you who've done this and said, well, the image deteriorates, it deteriorates on a white and gray screen. It doesn't deteriorate on a black screen. If you want proof, I'll put a video in the comments section of me showing off the Ultima GT55 on a 150 inch screen. And the middle screen is 120 inch. This is my relaxed period. This is what I do when I get done work. No more phone calls, no more processing orders. This is what I do to shut down. Go on my fish. And set up my, uh, my hologram projectors for the ceiling. Just coat it with our technology. Is that cool or what? And I just stare at this. This allows me to be able to relax. my black screen coated with Supreme 8. That's one of the projectors triggering off. I also can change the scenery on the ceiling uh, using, um, I have, um, I have, actually not software, but the projector allows me to be able to change certain things. So I can change this to an outer space scene if I want. So I can change this at will. So instead of me spending all the money, because we had a ceiling paint, we just never got around to launching it. I just was so busy, I never got around to launching it. But this is much cheaper than doing an optic fiber ceiling because an optic fiber ceiling, if you ever watched an install on an optic fiber ceiling, it involves a lot of freaking uh, construction of tearing up your ceiling to get in an optic fiber ceiling. And it's extremely expensive. It's not cheap. So the coating, I think it's on sale on our website. I forgot how much it is, but we only sell it by the gallon. It's a spray on application only, keep in mind. But the Invisible uh, Supreme 8 is the only one that has that ability to be able to pull off the ceiling effect. Look at it, isn't it hypnotic? Look how amazing the screen looks. Now, 
for either those who don't realize this, that this is actually the screen I'm using is an elite screen. It is. It's an elite screen. Uh, an elite had a screen called the Edgeless. It was a screen that had this very thin border around it. I didn't like the border at all. I just removed it and just kept the screen the way it is. But this is actually an all-white elite screen. And it's actually coded with our technology. And I paid about, I paid about nine, no, no, not paid nine. I paid about $700 for the screen. So it was $700 all white elite screen. They're called edgeless screens. That's what I paid for. And I coded it with our black technology. And this is what I get from it. Alright, I gotta get out of here. I'm going to finish watching the rest of my relaxation video. And then I'm gonna trot off to bed. Alright, uh, keep in mind we are having a holiday sale on our website. Okay, depending on where you're at in the world. We'll be here. Winter time is coming and majority of most people are going to be inside anyway. So this, this the technology is fantastic, especially if you're going to be snowed in. You know, you got a great big giant screen to watch movies on, and it's just the best way to go. If you live in the warmer states, much like California and Florida, Texas, Arizona, keep in mind the screen paint is fully weatherproof. Take it outside and set up your own outdoor home theater setup, and you can start your projectors or your movies off at around 4 o'clock in the evening instead of waiting until 10 o'clock at night because you're worrying about the screen fading. And as you can see, it's ultra short, though. <laughs> Those who've been asking about ultra short though compatible, yes it is ultra short though compatible. A lot of people don't realize that you have to get a, if you have an ultra short though projector, you have to buy a special screen that only works with ultra short throws. So screens can be expensive. So say if you wanted a screen in your backyard and you have an ultra short though projector downstairs in your den, and you have a screen upstairs, you want to replace your TV with a screen. That means you're going to have to spend the money for the ultra short throw, which is probably going to cost you 1500 to maybe two grand. Then you're going to have to get a yard master, a lead screen yard master out back. So depending on the size of that screen, if it's 180 inches, and you're talking about maybe about a good, maybe 15, maybe 14, maybe $1,700 to put that screen out there. And then if you want to put the screen in your house and that that screen's not ultra short throw, then that means that's more money you got to, you got to put out. Now what most people do is they buy two gallons of our screen paint. They buy two gallons of our screen paint, right? Two gallons of our screen paint will allow you to be able to paint 180 inch in your backyard. It will allow you to be able to paint another screen downstairs in your den and if you have an ultra short throw, you can take the same screen paint and you can paint yourself an ultra short throw projection screen because they're ultra short throw compatible. So that two gallon kit would cost you around five something. I said 500 and let's say 548. I think it's 540. I forget the sale price. It was around $500. So for $500, you've already completed the 180 inch screen in your backyard. You completed a 100 inch screen to 126 inch screen in your living room and downstairs in your den and it's ultra short throw instead of you buying one screen that's ultra short throw compatible and it costing you fifteen hundred dollars there's no way in the world that you're going to be able to go to elite screen or even um even uh black diamond or any of these companies and be able to get an ultra short throw high contrast dark gray screen these screens are black but a dark gray screen at 800 bucks you won't get it for five you won't get it for six you're going to pay that whopping depending on the uh, brand of the screen you're going to and the size of it if it's a hundred inch you're easily going to pay at least about if you get a elite screen 
then you're talking about a um, let's see the Dark Star Nine. Dark Star Nine screen start up at three thousand dollars for hundred inch. Black Diamond, five four to five thousand dollars for hundred inch. Now, if it's ultra short though compatible, then you're going to pay a little more money. They're not going to give you that option for free. Two hundred and seventy-four dollars is a quart of our screen paint. It's ultra short though compatible. It's weatherproof. It has ambient light coated technology, which means you can use them outside or with all the lights on your house. That costs two hundred and seventy-four dollars. You do the math. on top of that we make an invisible technology to turn your screen turn your ceiling into a projection screen all right i'm gonna get out of here real quick i gotta get some sleep because i'm tired i gotta get tomorrow morning i've got to hit the post office tomorrow i got a crazy day tomorrow i gotta go thank you all for your time and god bless